Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Todd. This is Todd. For today's video, I've decided to do some homemade chicken and dumplings. For this recipe, you're going to need one chicken breast, you're going to need three ribs of celery, diced, you're going to need one carrot, diced, and you're going to need about three quarters of a cup of frozen peas. You're also going to need about three quarters of a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of basil, about half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. You're also going to need 150 milliliters of heavy cream, or five ounces. You're also going to need a 16 ounce jar of uh, chicken broth. This is home canned chicken broth, so it is a little concentrated so it's going to come out to be a little more so you'll probably need about 32 ounces of chicken broth if you are not using uh, concentrated home canned. Um, I have some all-purpose flour, some baking powder, and 135 milliliters or about four and a half ounces of buttermilk and this is for the dumplings. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and got my dumplings mixed up off of camera, and I went ahead and added a little extra flour because that was not enough. I am going to go ahead and start by adding my chicken into my pot. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my jar of homemade chicken broth. And I'm going to go ahead and dump that in. And since I had a little bit of meat in the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and get a little water to rinse that out. So about three quarters of a jar and dump that in there. I'm going to go ahead and add in my spices, my vegetables. Minus the frozen carrot or peas I mean and I'm going to go ahead and set the heavy cream off to the side that will be added later along with the peas. I'm going to go ahead and get this board off and get my angle switched over and be right back. Okay so I'm back and I got this up to a boil now and I'm going to go ahead and just give this a quick stir to mix everything up and this is going to probably boil like this for about 10 minutes then I'm going to lower the heat down to about a medium for about another 20 minutes to simmer. After that point, I will go ahead and bring you guys back and show you the next step in this recipe. Okay, so I'm back and it just got done boiling and I have just turned the heat down to a medium. I'm actually happy with it at this point, so I am not going to go ahead and simmer this before adding the rest of my vegetables. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my frozen peas. And I'm also going to go ahead and add in my heavy cream. And give this a quick stir. And now I'm going to go ahead and simmer this for about five to 10 minutes. And I will go ahead and be right back. At that point, I will go ahead and taste it for salt and other things. Okay, so this has been simmering like this for about 10 minutes now. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick stir. And I'm also going to go ahead and taste this for seasonings. Um, I think it needs a little salt, so I will go ahead and grab some. Okay, so I'm going to probably add definitely not that much, but probably about half of that and just throw the rest of that in the sink. Salt's cheap, so um, go ahead and just give this another stir to incorporate that and I'm going to add a little more black pepper probably about that much I uh, never really measure my spices like that so I just go according to my taste so this is salt and pepper to taste 
as my chicken broth that I used was unsalted. So I'm going to go ahead and give this another taste without vegetables, if I can do that. Okay, right there is perfect. So I am going to go ahead at this point and start adding in my... I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. Uh, go ahead and start adding in my dumplings. A little, like, really small. I'm not really looking for big pieces, so about that much in one go. And I'm going to just use a finger and just plop it in. And just keep doing this. And just try not to put it in the same spot as a previous dumpling. Also, another good advantage of using your own chicken broth is you can have that chicken broth be flavored however you want. You're not, you can't just be limited to what uh, is offered in the store. So, by making your own chicken broth, you are making it uniquely your own. So, for my instance, I used uh, juniper berries, um, whole peppercorn, of course, coriander, mustard seed, um, trying to remember what else I used. I think it was a little bit of starinase, and I'm going to give that a quick stir right quick. But as you can see, that lo those little pieces of dumpling I put in is getting quite big. So, I need to go ahead and just put that right there. So, um, you can just really make the flavor however you want. And I've always liked those flavors incorporated into my chicken broth. So, that's how I make it. You can make yours however you want. But... This right here is pretty much the process of how I make my chicken and dumplings. Um, everybody has their own way. But um, this is mine. And I'm not going to really sum this video up right now. I'm going to go ahead and just show you the end result later after it's done. So it's going to probably be about maybe another 10 minutes at this point, And then I will go ahead and just bring you back. Okay, so as you can see, it has came along quite nicely, and the dumplings are not really too big, right there's one, or too small, so I am happy with that. They're about the size that I like. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the heat off, and at this time, it is pretty much done. You can serve this however you want. You could do it just by itself, or you can serve it over rice, or... You can serve it over egg noodles, whatever you want. Anything would be nice, but considering it has dumplings in it, it pretty much already has a starch. So, um, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button, as it really helps the channel out. And if you're not already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button too. That also helps my channel out, and it lets me know you enjoy watching my videos. And don't forget to smash the bell too, so you can be notified when I upload another video. And as always, thank you for watching, and I hope you continue to come along with me on this journey of mine. Oh.